Selling personalized print-on-demand products is one of the best ways to set yourself apart from the vast majority of POD sellers that aren't willing to do the extra work required to set up the listings and do the work on the back end related to fulfillment. In this episode, I want to exclusively look at Hello Custom, in my opinion, the best customization tool out there for selling personalized print-on-demand products versus Printify's relatively new native personalization features because I know there's been some chatter in the print-on-demand community about what are the differences between the two? Do they both accomplish the same thing? So I studied both of them. I wanna show you what I found in this video. Let's get right to it. This is Hello Custom versus Printify for custom print-on-demand products. First, let's look at the number of personalized elements supported. Now, Hello Custom, and I tried to put a logo up here in the top right corner, Hello Custom has unlimited personalizable elements in a design. It's not limited just to text, but that is probably the most commonly used personalized element. And if you're a beginner, I would say, I recommend start with text, all right? It doesn't need to be much more complicated than that to get started, but you can always do things like, well, what you see here behind me, where you can offer, for instance, a Christmas ornament that says, you know, our first Christmas, it supports the street address, the name or names, and the year. And this is actually relatively easy to do. I have an example right here where I uploaded my PDF template from Canva for this design. All right, and that's not required. Uh, Hello Custom, you can also do you know PNG uploads and then add the text in Hello Custom. But if you create it in Canva and export as a PDF, it'll import the text. This is just brand new. All I did was upload the PDF. So now I can click the street and you'll notice over here on the left-hand side, I have the ability to tag it. I can type in the word uh, street, or honestly, I would just probably type in address. Underneath there, I can click the names and just go ahead and say names. Underneath there, I could say year, or I could say uh, date. I'm just gonna go with date. It leaves it a little bit more open-ended for the customers. Um, you'll also notice over here, it's not recognizing a font that matches what I exported from Canva. We'll actually circle back to this. That's another thing I wanted to um, highlight later on. So when we compare this to Printify, you get one personalizable element in each product. So in this case, we could do just the street address, which, you know, the, hey, that works. But just for perspective, like there are limitations when you put one versus the other. To recap, Hello Custom supports unlimited personalized elements and also beyond just text. They also support unlimited templates per product. So for instance, if somebody, like if you have a product listing where you offer a white shirt with black text for good color contrast, and then the inverse of that in the same listing, which kudos to Printify for making it so easy to do that. I love how easy they make it for that. There's a little button that says separate design for this color. You click that, and then you just go ahead and swap the design or the colors. Um, but yeah, you could have the white text on a dark shirt, the black text on a light shirt, and Hello Custom allows you to support that. Whereas Printify is only gonna allow you to have that one customizable element. So what I did here is I actually have uploaded the static uh, background design, and I actually could have put the first Christmas text because that's gonna be static as well. And then what you do is, as long as you're uploading to Etsy specifically, because that's the only platform currently supported in Printify for their native personalization, you go over here to your sidebar, click personalize, and then click personalizable text. And then over here on the right-hand side, let me move myself, you can set the text. So currently by default, it says print it your way. And uh, I could just say one, two, three, main street. Okay, and you'll notice too that it like stacks the text. So then you have to go over here where it says width and height and maybe increase the width. There we go, we have all of our text on one line. Then you can use the corner slider to make it smaller and it'll look something like that. Also, I don't know why sometimes it looks um, like low resolution, like pixelated, but you can always go to the top right and hit preview. And you'll notice that that is just a, um, a temporary bug. I don't even know if you guys will see that. I only see it on occasion, but you'll see that it's not, you know, low quality or pixelated right there. So I did want to make you guys aware of that. Moving on to an AI comparison. So Hello Custom has a really strong AI behind its tool. It supports things like intelligently selecting from what the customer types in, grabbing the asset that's meant to be put in the template, like in the example behind me, uh, if a customer types into the personalization box, 
can the name be John? You know, in the example here, the name is Ryan. They say, can the name be equal to John? Question mark. Well, because in our Hello Custom template, we have selected the text and tagged it as name, it's gonna change Ryan to John automatically for us using AI. And it can do some really cool stuff. We'll talk about it in just a second. But for comparison, in Printify, if a customer goes to the personalization and types in, can the name be equal to John? It's literally gonna grab it as is and insert it like this. And by the way, I'm sure Printify, like their personal personalization tool is pretty new. I'm sure it'll get better with time. I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison today based on uh, everything that I found when I was experimenting with both. So you'll have to go in here and make sure to change that yourself. You don't want that getting sent to production. So a quick summary, in Hello Custom, you tag each custom element in your template as you watched me do. AI grabs the element or elements from Etsy based on what the customer provided and inserts it. AI in Hello Custom can also customize aesthetics if instructed. So it can go ahead and try to like customize um, word coloring, letter coloring, etc. cetera. Uh, Printify does not use AI, so it can require some duplicate work like the one I just, the example I just showed you. And that's because it inserts the entire string from Etsy into the, uh, whatever the customer typed into the personalized box. All right, next, creating designs. So I mentioned that in Hello Custom, I think what most people are probably a fan of doing is jumping into Canva and creating it there. Canva is very user-friendly, one of the most popular design apps, absolutely took the world by storm, I feel like since 2020. That was five years ago at this point. Uh, just remember, when you download it, download as a PDF print, this is gonna be the easiest, lowest friction path forward, then load that up into Hello Custom, tag the elements, and you're good to go. So again, I just uploaded the PDF. Next up, I would click this piece of text and I would tag it as name, that simple. Uh, in Printify, if you were to export as I just showed you in that example, it would just push the static, full static design with no customizable functionality built in. It's gonna treat this literally like a transparent PNG that can't be edited. So what you are gonna need to do is go in chop the uh, dynamic portion out of the design. So in that example, I would remove the word Ryan and then I would just upload the I heart to Printify. And then I would go into that example I just showed you where you click add personalization, add text, match the font you want. And then it knows to grab what the customer provides in Etsy and put it in to your um, design template before you approve it for uh, production. So to recap for the design, Hello Custom, you export it, you tag it. Uh, it also supports, you know, not just PDF, but it supports PNG as well. Printify does not support the element tagging. You upload the static design elements, do not upload the dynamic elements, and then add the text personalization in Printify. Next up, I just wanted to talk about text effects that are supported, nati supported natively in Hello Custom versus Printify. So Hello Custom actually supports a whole ton of text effects. If you are in your template and you select text, it's gonna open up the sidebar here with all of the things that are supported. Um, in summary, Hello Custom supports transparency, letter and line spacing, drop shadow, curving, adding an outline, adding a highlight. Uh, I know they're working on you know some big advancements to their platform too that should be live in a few weeks. And I mean, it wouldn't support, it wouldn't surprise me if there's even more functionality supported. Printify is currently pretty basic. Um, you can change the font, the color, the alignment, but there's no special text effects. Uh, like what we listed over here currently supported for the personalized um, text elements. So you can see actually in Printify, like if you go ahead and you select the personalizable text element um, up here, you can do things like change the alignment, the bold, italic, the font color, et cetera. And then you can mess around with the uh, character limit, the actual text, the width, the height, et cetera. You can rotate it actually. So I should have mentioned that. You do have a rotation available here, but not a curve. Uh, in Printify, so I just wanted to be clear about that. All right, next I wanted to talk about the concept of auto fit. What if somebody types in a really long word or multiple words that they want kind of jammed into a design template that might not be optimized for that? Well, in Hello Custom, you can very easily like duplicate a single, you know, if a template's optimized for a single text variable, like I heart Ryan and Ryan is the one text variable, you can easily just like duplicate it, create a second line. And if somebody wanted to put Ryan and James, well, boom, copy paste, add the ampersand after Ryan and then change uh, in the, the duplicate one, change Ryan to James and you're good to go. 
in Printify, it's gonna grab exactly what you know they type into the Etsy search box. Uh, it may look something like this, Ryan James, Johnny Manny. You don't really have the ability to split it out based on the default core functionality of the Printify like personalized text. Of course, you can go in and like manually edit the design, which is essentially the path forward. Um, in my mind, the way I would do it would not be to actually use the baseline function here for the personalized text. I would delete that and then I would go in, add my own text element and just hard code all of the names in there um, is how I would go about doing it. So having the right font can make or break a design in certain niches. I honestly have a list of less than 10 fonts that I use all the time and I would really be hamstrung if I couldn't use those custom fonts with my you know, automated personalized order fulfillment that Hello Custom gives me. So I like that they support custom font uploads. Printify does not, uh, but they both do support a lot of fonts by default. Hello Custom's integrated with Google Fonts. It's got over 1,700 fonts. Printify, I went into the developer console, um, did a couple tricks to try to count the number of fonts that they uh, currently support. I came to a count of 994 fonts in Printify, so still a pretty wide selection, but you cannot upload your own custom fonts. Testing your templates is always a good idea. In Hello Custom, it's easy to do. You have the option of making a copy in just a few clicks, and then you can actually go ahead and input your own personalization and see what it would look like, see how the AI would handle it. So they make it very easy to test. Um, Printify does not have a test feature and Etsy does not allow you to test um, your own orders on your shop, or at least you're not supposed to. So they do kind of make you fly in the dark and you gotta just pay attention to your order queue for when you know personalized orders come in to make sure that everything's handled appropriately. All right, almost done. Product splitting. Now, this is a good problem to have because it means that somebody ordered personalized products and they wanted different personalizations on multiple different products in one order. You know, I always like when one order has multiple products in it. Who doesn't? Uh, so you might see something like this where you then in Printify would have to go into the order, uh, change the quantity from, you know, three to one or two to one, and then assume that, you know, they got the first one right. I mean, you. They may actually not because of how I explained it functions earlier, where it's gonna grab the full string of text that the customer provides, which would theoretically, if it's using names, have multiple names. So you have to go in, edit the names to just the name Ryan, and then you'd have to go in manually add the next product and whatever the other name was, you know, Bob, you'd have to go in and add Bob as well, add it to your order. So it's a little bit redundant. Uh, Hello Custom actually makes it real easy to do product splitting. I'll link in the YouTube cards to the video on their channel where they show just how to do this. It's only two minutes long, so check it out uh, if you ever run into this issue or if you just wanna know how it works. Last but not least, worth mentioning the marketplaces supported. I showed you earlier that Printify, you have to be pushing products to an Etsy shop, otherwise you don't even get the option of adding that personalized text. Whereas Hello Custom currently supports Etsy and Amazon, and I know they're working on their Shopify integration behind the scenes, which I'm really excited for. Uh, haven't talked about this publicly, but I spent all weekend working on a Shopify print-on-demand store, so I'm excited about that. But guys, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. I've been messing around with both tools. I think personalized print-on-demand products is a great feature. I've heard as many as like one-third of Etsy's orders are personalized, and we know they were running Super Bowl ads talking about they're the destination for personalized custom gifts. So print on demand is a match made in heaven for that because the products are made on demand as it says in the title. Anyways, guys, check out Hello Custom linked in the description as well as Printify. I'll put my links to both in case you don't have an account. Thank you for watching till the end. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys at the next one.